Apple refreshed the MacBook Air back in June this year and brought a couple of new upgrades to the laptop. However, between the new MacBook Pros, the 12-inch MacBook and the countless Windows laptops out there, it's hard to figure out if the MacBook Air is worth buying in 2017. Hey guys, this is Akshay from vbomb.com and in this video, I'll talk about whether the MacBook Air is worth buying in 2017. Before we get started, make sure you hit the bell icon to get notifications for all of our future videos. Now that you've done that, let's get started. The 2017 MacBook Air is currently priced at 61,000 rupees on Amazon India and comes packing all of this. To figure out whether or not the MacBook Air is worth it in 2017, let's consider the pros and cons of buying the iconic laptop from Apple. The MacBook Air has some really great things going for it. It features a 12 hour long battery which is one of the longest lasting batteries in its size. Compare that to a Windows laptop with a similar battery life and you'll get something well like this. The MacBook Air also comes with an SSD which results in excellent app launch times and faster boot up speed. Most Windows laptops in this price range usually offer a mechanical hard disk which is okay but a lot slower than an SSD. Even though the MacBook Air is lightweight and portable, the build quality is excellent and by far the best in class. It's aluminium all around and extremely sturdy, unlike most plasticky Windows laptops in the market. The MacBook Air is the only laptop from Apple that has almost all the ports, including a USB 3, Thunderbolt 2, SD card slot and a MagSafe 2. It even has a headphone jack, a dying breed for sure. What it doesn't have is a USB-C port which makes it a bit behind the times. Despite all that, the MacBook Air is not upgradable and it's nowhere near as powerful as other laptops in a similar price range. It comes with a much older processor, a 5th gen Core i5, when most laptops these days come equipped with the latest 7th gen processors from Intel. Sure, you can configure it with a Core i7 and more SSD storage, but that shifts the price from a 60,000 laptop to an 80,000 laptop. And at that price range, you'd expect a much more powerful machine. The MacBook Air doesn't have a dedicated GPU either, so you can't really expect it to be able to handle graphically intensive tasks at all. Also, it has some really gigantic bezels and a screen resolution that's not even Full HD. I mean, it's 2017 and an expensive laptop not offering a Full HD display is just weird. So if you're looking for alternatives to a MacBook Air in a similar price range, there are a number of Windows laptops you can choose from, which offer more features and are more powerful than the MacBook Air. The HP Pavilion is a bang for buck laptop, with a 7th gen Core i5, 8GB of RAM, 1TB hard disk and a 4GB NVIDIA graphics card. Add to that the 9-hour battery life and it's one of the best laptops you can get under Rs 60,000. However, the HP Pavilion has a 15-inch 1366x768 display but it more than makes up for it with a great processor and a dedicated GPU, both things that the Air doesn't even come close to. While the Mi Notebook Air is not available in India as of now, it does show off everything great you can get in a Windows laptop at this price range. The Mi Notebook Air is built with the MacBook Air aesthetic in mind and comes with all of these things at about 50,000 rupees. Xiaomi is also taking pre-orders for the Mi Notebook Air 2, which comes with a 7th gen processor a better graphics card and a fingerprint reader in the top right corner of the trackpad. For people who need a laptop that can do the heavy lifting and play games as well, the HP Pavilion AU626TX comes at just Rs 65,990 and has all of this hardware. Macs have the advantage of a great sync between the hardware and the software since both the things are controlled by the same company. If you want a similar experience with a Windows laptop, you can go with the Surface Pro 4. It comes in at a price of Rs 65,490 and packs a 6th gen Core i5, 4 gigs of RAM, a 128GB SSD and a Full HD touchscreen display. It also comes with the Surface Pen for all your writing and drawing needs. However, you'll have to buy the keyboard separately and that itself costs around 7 to 8,000. The Surface Pro 4 might cost a little more but it comes with a great metal body and an amazing design from Microsoft. 
All things considered, the MacBook Air is not really worth it in 2017. It costs 61,000 rupees and offers nothing extra from other laptops in a similar price range. I mean, you get an old processor, no dedicated graphics card, and a rather unimpressive display. For 60,000, you can get Windows laptops that are in fact a lot better than the MacBook Air, with better configurations and more features. Plus, most Windows laptops at 60,000 have a dedicated GPU, making them better for gaming and video editing. With options like the Surface Pro 4 and the Mi Notebook Air, you don't even have to compromise on the build quality or the design of a Windows laptop under 60,000. So are you going to buy a MacBook Air or would you rather go for a Windows laptop instead? Do let me know in the comment section below. Also, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's all from my side. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.